Hey there, viewers. I'm not gonna get too dark, but today we're gonna talk about chemotherapy. Also known as chemo, this is a common cancer treatment that uses one or more drugs to fight cancer cells. While cancer itself is enough of a burden, those who go through chemo experience several side effects. These include fatigue, nausea, and dry mouth, all of which can ruin your appetite. Let's talk about nine foods you should be eating during chemotherapy. Is oatmeal a smart choice? How about avocado? Wait, smoothies? We're talking all that and more. Number one, homemade smoothies. We're kicking off our list on a happy note, as happy as it can get with this subject matter. If you're having a hard time keeping solid food down, making a smoothie might be your next best bet. While most people associate smoothies with mixed fruit, we're gonna make exceptions in this case. A smoothie for chemo patients can include any type of food. It's recommended that you mix one to two cups of liquid, three cups of fruit or veggies, one tablespoon of protein, and another tablespoon of fat. This should be enough to keep your stomach satisfied. If you're using fresh fruits like berries, make sure you wash them before mixing them. They may still carry bacteria. You don't wanna be consuming this with your immune system in a weakened state. It could only make things worse. What's your go-to smoothie? Do you mix fruits with veggies or do you drink them individually? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two, pumpkin seeds. This snack has a lot going for it in the way of nutrients. Pumpkin seeds have protein, antioxidants, and vitamin E. Vitamin E is particularly important for patients during this time, as it supports your immune system and lowers inflammation. On top of that, it will also prevent heart disease and promote the health of your eyes. Pumpkin seeds also carry a ton of iron, but just be careful, you don't want to experience an iron overload. This is when there's way too much iron in your body for your system to handle. The iron goes into your heart, liver, and glands. So if your doctor notices too much iron in your body, stay off the pumpkin seeds. Number three, fish. This is a really important food to eat if you're going through chemo. You're getting so many nutrients you don't even realize. If you're receiving chemo treatment, it's recommended that you eat two servings of fish per week. This way you're getting enough omega-3 fatty acids. These are important fats that your body needs in order to function. Omega-3s will boost your brain health and fight against inflammation in the body. They will help most cancer patients avoid unhealthy weight loss during their treatment. Fish like mackerel, salmon, sardines, and tuna are really high in omega-3s, so I recommend you try those. Number four, bread and crackers. This is one of the easier snacks on our list. If your treatment has drained you of your energy, you're not always gonna wanna stand over your stove to cook fish. Aside from them being easy to fix for yourself, bread and crackers are also easy to digest. Whole grain brands are particularly good for you. They include added nutrients that can feed an upset stomach. If the chemo treatment has caused you to get sick, some salted crackers will give you some much needed sodium. This makes up for the sodium you lost through diarrhea and vomiting. The easier the snack is to whip up, the better for you in a weakened state. Number five, broccoli. When you're going through cancer treatment, you need to eat your veggies. Cruciferous foods like broccoli are packed with nutrients, but perhaps none are more important for you in this situation than vitamin C. Vitamin C works to boost your immune system. This is really important during chemo as your body needs all the strength it can get to fight off foreign agents. Broccoli also contains compounds that help your brain work. This is done through reducing inflammation and protecting your cells from damage. Before we continue, are you looking to get in shape? Have you ever thought about fasting? Check out our recent video on eight types of intermittent fasting and how it helps you lose weight. Now back to our video on foods to eat during chemotherapy. Number six, almonds. This is another quick snack you can have on the go. Almonds have terrific benefits for people going through treatment. This includes great nutrients like protein, fat, vitamins, and minerals. Arguably, its two most important minerals are manganese and copper. Just a single serving of almonds gives you almost 30% of your daily value of both. The antioxidants in almonds will fight to make sure your cells don't go through any more damage. Eating a regular almond snack is just one more step towards maintaining your strength during chemotherapy. Number seven, avocado. Not only is this fruit great for you during chemo treatment, it's also delicious. Everyone needs a little more avocado in their life. There's no shortage of great nutrients in avocado. For one, you get monounsaturated fat. This will help your cholesterol stay at a healthy level. A serving of avocado will fight against your LDL. This is the fancy name for your bad cholesterol. It also carries a huge amount of fiber. A three ounce serving has 27% of your daily value. This does a number of positive things for your health. Since your stomach will be emptier during this time, avocado will make you feel full for a longer period. 
On top of that, the fruit will assist your digestion. A regular diet of avocado helps you go to the bathroom at a healthier rate. Now, there are a number of ways to eat avocado. You don't just need to cut it up and eat it raw. Remember the bread you were eating? Why don't you spread it over that? But much like other fruits, you need to make sure you wash avocados before you slice them up. Unpeeled avocados carry bacteria known as listeria. This can poison you. Number 8. Oatmeal Yes, oatmeal can be very healthy for you, but it also serves as a comfort food, something that will satisfy you during this hard time. We all know the feeling that comes after tasting a warm bowl of oatmeal in the morning. One of the greatest advantages oatmeal has over other foods is its lack of taste. Eating plain oatmeal is a smart choice for chemo patients, especially those experiencing dry mouth or sores. Oatmeal has so many contents that will fill you up. For one, you're gonna get protein. Similar to fiber, protein will help you maintain an appetite and boost your digestive system. Oatmeal also contains its own type of fiber that will regulate your gut's bacteria. There are several types of oatmeal to choose from. A person doing chemo rounds might wanna go for overnight oats. This is when you soak oats in milk and put them in your fridge overnight. In the morning, you top them with berries, nuts, and honey. It's recommended you eat it within two hours of your chemo appointment. This way you can avoid getting sick. If you are getting sick or feeling nauseous, eat it with a little bit of salt. This is said to make you feel better during this time. Number 9. Eggs This next choice is pretty hit and miss. Some people like them while others don't. But eggs are just so good for you, and they can really fill your stomach up. This is a plus for anyone in treatment. One of the most common symptoms of chemotherapy is fatigue. You can feel exhausted just by standing up. Eggs fight off feeling of fatigue through their protein and fats. One medium-sized egg holds about six grams of protein and four grams of fat. Fat gives your body energy to function throughout the day. As for protein, it allows you to maintain muscle mass. During chemo, your muscles can really suffer. There are so many different ways you can cook eggs. You can do them hard-boiled, soft-boiled, poached, or scrambled. The possibilities are endless. You just have to make sure they're cooked properly. This way you have less of a chance of getting food poisoning. I really need to emphasize this for people doing chemo. Your body's already feeling weak. One of the last things you need is an unnecessary sickness. Yes, cancer and other forms of disease are hard to talk about, but it's necessary when it comes to your health. Have I sparked your interest? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Check out our video on nine foods that are hurting your stomach. Or how about nine foods that are hurting your unhealthy pancreas? Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both, and learn more about how to avoid illness. Have you or a family member ever gone through chemotherapy? Let us know in the comments below.